We are on the island of Koh Phangan and we are showing you our favourite things to do. We are Ella and Fox and we have spent two weeks travelling around Koh Phangan to find the best things to do on this small Thai island. If you enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like and hit the subscribe button. And number one, we have the beautiful Bottle Beach. Bottle Beach is one of the most beautiful beaches either of us have ever been to. So we really are on one of the most secluded parts of Koh Phangan here. It takes about a 15 to 20 minute private long tail boat to get here. That cost us about 200 baht per person. White sand, blue seas, mountains, palm trees all around you. It really is so beautiful. So this is our accommodation. So we've got this incredible seafront view, this lovely bungalow. And it only cost us 800 baht per night, which is incredible value for what you get. So you are right on the beach and you can run straight into the sea. So beautiful. It is honestly stunning. I don't really know what to compare it to because it's one of the most beautiful beaches we've ever been to. We've woken up to a seafront view and yeah, it's, it's breathtaking to be honest. For number two, we aren't going that far. We have Bottle Beach Viewpoint. So we are about to head up to the viewpoint just above Bottle Beach. Apparently it's about a 30 minute walk and it's actually quite hard as well. But we are heading just up there. So let's get going. We have made it to the top. So if I was to describe the climb, I would say difficult. It is hard, I'm not gonna lie. It's a beautiful view, especially if you're someone who likes climbing, likes to see views. But I will warn you if, you, if you're a bit scared of heights like me, and like doing all of that, it is, it is difficult. We went in the morning at around 10 a.m. But as you can see, there were loads of people. So we would definitely recommend trying to go there first thing and catch the sunrise. So it's the full moon party tonight, it's the 8th of December and we are going out to grab some food and to get our bits for tonight. So it's pretty mental out here, you've got people doing face paints and body paint and then just absolutely everywhere it's buzzing, you've got all the crazy colours, yeah it's just pretty mental to be honest. Buckets. So to get in you had to get these armbands and they were 200 baht per person. So there you go, 200 baht to get in. The full moon party happens every month on the full moon. It's what Koh Penyang is known for and it's a definite one not to miss. Good morning everyone, it's the day after the full moon party. I think everybody's feeling a bit sore-headed at the moment and especially this one over here. We went to the beach the day after the full moon party and let me tell you, the streets were dead but the people looked even deader. Yes, a lot of people were hungover. So one of the other things you can do in Koh Phangan is go and do a Muay Thai lesson. I have never done it before, Ella hasn't either. For me, this is really stepping out of my comfort zone, but it's going to be something you've got to try it when you're in Thailand, so let's see what it's like. We've just done skipping for about like 10 minutes, already very sweaty, and we've got our hands wrapped up in beads, ready to start, so let's give it a go. Yeah, I'm already dying with sweat. This is coming off. Two, one, 
How are you finding it? I'm very tired. It's all right. You enjoying? It's weird punching. So we're done now. I am dripping with sweat. Um, it was absolutely knackering, but definitely worth giving a go. Elle's still going, she's got a few more sit-ups to do. Um, if you're in Koh Phangan, come to Riti Sak Mai Thai. It is incredible, two hour session, eight till 10 or four till six. You won't regret it, great fitness, and just really fun as well. So all the trainers are so good, really helpful. So definitely come to Ricky Sack Gym. Okay, what do you think, girl? I loved it. That was so much fun. I feel like whenever I've done exercise before, it's just been like running or gymming, and there's been like no purpose. Where I feel like doing something like this, you're like doing exercise, but like you're not really thinking about the fact of how tired you are because you're focusing on the moves. So yeah, I've really, really enjoyed it. That's such a great way to get fit and learn something new. So yeah, huge funds up to Ricky Sack Muay Thai. So we are now at Fan Tip Night Market. It's the first time we've been to a night market and it's here in Koh Phan Yang. You don't really know what to expect. Fingers crossed there's vegan food because we're both starving after Muay Thai. Let's get going. Fan Tip Night Market is located in the main town of Koh Phan Yang, not too far away from Phong Sala Pier. It takes place every Saturday night and is definitely a must-do on the island. I just love the vibe here. It's like everyone's chatting, eating loads of good food. So yeah, this is like the place to be. This is the best shake I've ever had. It's so good. The passion fruit and the mango. Oh wow. So there's so much to eat here. There's like a middle square there. And there are just more food stalls, like what you'll see on the side of the road. And then you've got like two food courts. And we've got some spring rolls, which are 10 bar each, which is really, really good. And we've also got some um, chocolate energy balls, which I think were about 20 bar each. And right next to them was like fried eggplant, fried potato, fried sweet potato. And that was all like 20 bar each. So this section, one to the right of the main sort of like food stall bit it's really cheap so i would recommend coming in here so today we are on our way to paradise waterfalls which is in the north of Koh Phangan. so it was 30 baht per person and you get to take one of these we haven't even got to the falls yet don't know what they're like but apparently you can swim on these big rubber rings so i guess we'll see what it's like you can use them in this sort of like bit of water just where the waterfalls are and like swing on ropes and stuff so it looks very fun let's go so it's cold it's not that cold but it's fairly cold i can see little fishes in here and apparently they nibble at your feet if you wait too long <laughs> the water was quite cold but it was really nice after a hot day in the sun so i'm not sure if you can tell but there is a little waterfall coming through here There was also a rope swing there, but as you can see, I wasn't very elegant jumping off, but definitely worth giving it a go. We are going to one of the most famous beaches in Koh Panya, which is Koh Ma Beach. So it's our second day going to Koh Ma Beach, and this time, hopefully, the tide will be low, and then we can cross onto Koh Ma Island. I feel like it's going to be good sort of relaxing weather. Hopefully. So, as I said earlier, Koh Ma Beach is known as one of the prettiest beaches on Koh Phan Yan. And in my opinion, it's definitely worth going to. The beach itself is beautiful, but I'd say it's kind of winning point is that it's got a sandbar which goes out to an island on the other side known as Koh Ma Island. Now, when we came yesterday, it was very much high tide and you couldn't get over to it. But today, 
it's still high tide and you can't get over to it but i'm walking over gonna go check it out just show you a bit of how beautiful this area is so as you might be able to see here there is usually a sandbar that connects komar island but today as I said, it's definitely high tide and you definitely can't get to it. And to make it worse, it's very windy, so you probably can't even hear what I'm saying. But yeah, it looks absolutely beautiful. And I might even try and make it a bit across, to be honest. So, let's see. So, I don't know if you can see over there, but there are people trying to walk back across the sandbar, which is definitely starting to be at high tide. But yeah, I think if you are gonna go at high tide, you definitely need to go without your phone, without a big camera. Um, but yeah, it'll be, it would be absolutely beautiful to go across. It's just amazing seeing the waves hitting you at both sides as you're walking towards it. It's really incredible. So today in Koh Phangan, we are doing one of the best things you can do as a traveler, which is meeting up with people who do very similar things to you and going for a drink at one of those beautiful viewpoints in Koh Phangan. We're making our way up to Amsterdam Bar. Amsterdam bar, the viewpoint looks over the whole of Koh Phangan. The drinks are quite expensive, but the view was great. So it was an amazing place to come and chill with some mates for sunset. They reached out to us and now we've met up on Koh Phangan. Hello. <laughs> we are Kala and Sergey. We are from Greece. And we are Sergal Travel on Instagram. You can find like really beautiful places of us traveling around Southeast Asia. And yeah, we had such a lovely time with these two guys today. It was so cool. Yeah, we love these guys. Yeah. Woo! It was really, really fun. So make sure you check them out and follow them. If you're enjoying the video so far and want to keep up with mine and Ella's travels around Asia, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you're looking to find good coffee, we know just the place and that is Bubba's Roastery. Now, not only does it do good coffee, it has amazing brekkie, which we were recently recommended by an Aussie. And you know if an Australian recommends coffee and brekkie, you have to go and check it out. So let's go on in. So in front of us we've got a tofu scramble. So the tofu is in harada paste. We've also got green avocado salad. The other dish we've gone for is mushrooms with beetroot hummus on toast and it even has almond butter. It's the flavours for me, but like even a salad. I'm not sure if it's like coriander or something within it, but it just tastes so fresh. English standard is there and it's just better. Like absolutely blows my mind. So the flat whites here look incredible. So this is the first place we've actually been to so far in Thailand and they've done latte art. Can't wait to try it. Let's give it a go. Oh wow, that's amazing. By far the best flat white we've had so far in Thailand. So Ella, what do we rate this on the coffee scale of 1 to 10? Best coffee I've had in Thailand and for that either a 9.5 or 10. So I don't think I'm going to get much better. So we're going to go for we're going to go for a 10. I can agree to the 10. I'll give it a 10 out of 10 as well. So. One thing that you need to do when in Thailand and especially Koh Phangan is watch the most beautiful sunset. The best beach by far is Had Yao Beach, which is to the northwest of the island. Unfortunately, today it's been a bit cloudy and the sun hasn't been setting perfectly, but you still get the most gorgeous colors in the distance. We have spent the past few nights staying at Amara Beach Resort, which is located on Had Yao Beach. It may be a relatively new hotel, but everything has been incredible. From the hospitality being incredible, to the rooms being immaculate, to the amazing bar and restaurant, and most of all, the gorgeous beachfront view.
So Koh Phan Yan has a ton of different breakfast options and we are gonna take you to one of our favorite spots. Um, so we've got mango, banana, dragon fruit. We've also gone for the homemade granola as it looks so good and you can get it with an extra topping. These literally taste as good as they look. And then on the left, we've got the scrambled vegan toast, which is avocado mixed with lime and seasoning. And then scrambled tofu on top and a little bit of garnish of tomatoes and it all tastes amazing. So one of the best things is going to a really nice coffee place and getting a coffee with coconut milk and this one is actually to die for. Now we are absolutely stuffed but we have one more place to show you. So one of our favourite places to go for dinner is Loco's Pizza's Bar. They have an extensive vegan menu and we're super excited to have a look and try it out. So our drinks have just come, Alex of course has gone for a beer and I've gone for the homemade kombucha, so mine's pineapple and mint and they've even given you garnish to add in on top. Wow, that was like an experience in itself, I've never had a pineapple kombucha but it works really well. So here we've gone for a vegan gnocchi which also comes with fresh vegan mozzarella on top and then we've gone for a pizza which is vegan chicken, pesto and vegan mozzarella as well and then on top just to be healthy as well we've gone for some grilled fresh veggies as well can't wait to dig in it all looks absolutely delicious. That's really good. <laughs> right, let's get stuck in. Mm. So good. I'm gonna go for some of the mozzarella. Let's give it a go. Mm, so good. The pesto, homemade, incredible. The mozzarella, homemade, incredible. I, 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 I'm, I'm lost for words. It's actually one of the best pizzas I've ever had. We honestly could not recommend this place enough. If you are in Koh Phangan, you need to come to Loco's Pizza Bar. So last night when we went to Loco's Pizza Bar, we tried vegan mozzarella, and it was honestly the best vegan mozzarella I've ever tried. And I said to Fiona, where did you get this vegan mozzarella from? And he said, it just so happens that the makers of that vegan cheese are sat in this restaurant. We had a conversation with them and we've come to their vegan deli today. So we're trying out some of their homemade cheese, their homemade chocolate. It's all French inspired, so it's gonna be insane. So yeah, we are so excited to give it all a try. So we have gone for a chocolate overload here and I'm so excited. So the first one is a Christmas inspired hot chocolate. So on top they have marshmallow fluff. That's insane, oh my gosh. And the one to their right is their famous Nutella shake. And I think that looks like brownie on top. The flavors in this are just ridiculous. So now I'm gonna try some of the meatloaf. Please hold. Gives off like nut rose vibes. That's so tasty. watching our Copenhagen video if you liked it make sure to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe if you want to see more of our future content see you in the next one